How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and should you keep your iPhone battery always between 20 and 80% or is it really a huge myth? Let's talk about that. Okay guys, so a lot of people actually believe that charging your iPhone past 80% and letting your iPhone battery go under below 20% is actually really, really bad for your iPhone battery. Therefore, you should always maintain, always keep between that range, between 20 and 80%. Never charging past 80% and never letting it discharge below 20%. And the reality is, this is actually partially true, not completely, but partially. And in order to understand this, we have to actually separate those two different limits, the upper 80% limit and the lower 20% limit. So starting with the upper 80% limit, the thing is, this is actually true, entirely true. And there are many, many videos of myself here on the channel and a lot of documentation on this subject everywhere. And the thing is, it doesn't only affect iPhone batteries, but every single lithium ion battery. So you shouldn't charge your iPhone, your notebook, your electric car past 80%. It has to do with the physical and chemical properties of lithium ion batteries, which are inside every single device that we use and that we own, regardless of the brand. And the theory is very easy to understand. There's a very nice analogy that I'm going to give you right now. Think of a lithium ion battery and iPhone battery as a parking lot, a huge parking lot. So when that parking lot is actually empty, the cars, so the ions, can actually find parking spots very, very easily, so then it can charge very, very easily, no stress, very, very fast. This happens between zero and 80%, and that's when the parking lot starts to get really full, that 80% number. And again, it happens because of the physical and chemical properties of lithium ion batteries. So when your iPhone battery reaches 80%, so when the parking lot starts to get pretty full, the cars, the ions, they just can't find the parking places very, very fast, the parking spots. So they go around, they go backwards and forwards, and this causes the charging speed to actually decrease. But not only that, it actually causes stress to the battery. It actually helps the battery degrade faster. And that's why charging your iPhone battery past 80% is just bad. You should stop at 80%. And to make things even very, very much clearer, that's why every single device, like your iPhone, an Android phone, any laptop, any electric car, they all have features exclusively for this, to stop to limit the charging at 80%. On the iPhone, you have an iOS specific feature for this called 80% charging limit, which will do exactly that. It'll just stop the charging at 80%. Even if you leave your iPhone plugged in, it won't go above 80%. So it's already extremely clear that charging past 80% is bad. So then you should just stop it. You should stop right there. And then very easy to understand. But what about the lower limit, the 20% limit? And guys, you don't have to worry about this at all. There's no such thing as you have to plug in your iPhone as soon as it reaches 20%. No, it doesn't work like that. This is a huge myth. And it all started, especially on the iPhone, simply because there's a notification on your iPhone, I'm sure you have seen it, where iOS lets you know that your iPhone reached 20%. It says low battery, 20%. It actually asks you if you want to enable low power mode, right? The iPhone have always had this feature. And because of this, a lot of people think that, oh, my iPhone is saying my battery is low and I need to recharge it immediately. But no, that's not what the iPhone is telling you. It's just letting you know. It's just a heads up. It's saying low battery, Pay attention because in a few minutes or hours, your iPhone will die and you just won't have your iPhone. You won't be able to use your iPhone, but it has nothing to do with being bad for your battery or degrading your battery, nothing like that. It is just a heads up. And to make things even clearer, let's think about the iPad and the MacBook. They both also have warnings like this saying low battery, but have you paid attention on the percentage? The iPad lets you know that you have a low battery when it reaches 10%. And same thing on the MacBook, 
it lets you know when it reaches 10% that your battery is low, not 20%, 10%. So if it was actually bad for your device battery to discharge, to go below, to go lower than 20%, your iPad, your MacBook, everything would actually warn you at 20%. But no, they warn you at 10% simply because iPad batteries and MacBook batteries, they actually last longer. So they only need to warn you. They only need to give you the heads up when they're at 10%, not 20. Unlike the 80%, which is fixed, it doesn't matter if we're talking about an iPhone, an iPad, a Mac, an electric car, it doesn't matter the size of the battery, it's always 80% because it has to do with the physical and chemical properties of lithium ion batteries. But the 20% limit, it doesn't exist. There's no limit, there's nothing like that, you don't have to worry about it. And so, that's literally it, that's what I wanted to tell you, relax. Don't worry about it. You can actually charge your iPhone as you wish between zero and 80%. If you want to, you can let your iPhone battery die. There's no problem with it. As I said, between zero and 80%, you can charge it however you want. Don't worry about 20%, it doesn't exist. And that's literally it. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next video as usual guys. Bye bye.